back. Bye. Check it out. Uh, look Dylan. Yeah, of course. Uh, I, I go home and look at that view. It's so nice. It's I dark broke I, bro I broke it. Anyways, so it's dark out there. What it's dark, nice? but it's it's nice view. So um, we're gonna do. Well, I, I was at school. And I did Ooh, stuff, and that. my god, that light brights. So we're going to discuss, even though it's old, uh, I, I'm not trying to take control of your video, this is your channel, uh, but we're going to discuss Breaking Bad Fellini, or Felina, uh, which is, ironically, the ironic episode well, of Breaking but Bad. But there's a reason why it's set as this, and I want to put, we'll start off with this. Uh, I, Fe is iron, um, basically lithium is meth, and... And sodium is. Are you planning on doing making some drugs from scratch? Since you're like pointing out all this. Shit. No, 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 no. I, I'm just pointing this out that it basically all represents blood money from, made from meth. That's yeah. what that's what the ending is all about. If you think about uh, periodic table elements. Now, not to geek out, let's discuss it. First off, uh, this obviously will have spoilers, and this will be a series review, not review, but. Well, if they haven't seen it, they don't. Obviously, people have seen it, or else they wouldn't be clicking on this. Way. Well, no shit. Okay. So, what was your what was your favorite part of the episode? Jesse Pinkman driving off in that car. Yeah, I think I think that was really good. Um, I don't know if they intentionally put that in there because they knew Aaron Paul was going to be in Need for Speed movie, move. or they just did it just for the fuck of it because like they knew it was like, oh, Aaron Paul's going to be in Need for Speed. Why not put this scene in the show so people can just make jokes about it? Like, well, Jesse Pinkman just drives off into a different dimension and ends up in the Need for Speed universe. Or uh, he just drives off, changes his name to something else, winds up in a different city. Alaska. He goes to Alaska. Alaska. And lives in Anchorage. And becomes somebody else. And becomes another, and becomes the next Heisenberg. In Need for Speed? He's in a He's not in Need for Speed anymore. Well, the Need for Speed He's movie. a meth kingpin in Need for Speed. Merry Christmas. Yeah, okay. That's, it's gone in 60 seconds. That's my favorite part. That little five second clip when he's just driving off like a maniac. Or he could have just drove off like a maniac and just went off a bridge somewhere dying. Well, that, okay, that's that's what's implied is we don't know. For all we know, he could go back and save Brock. In fact, be Brock's father. Walt, you know, Brock never liked Walt, but he liked Jesse. And in fact, he thought of him as, as his dad. Or in the very least, as an older brother who's banging his mom, which is like, you know, it's... <laughs> um, okay. So, yeah, no, or... So, what could also... Jesse could go do drug awareness seminars. But the truth is, Jesse's so broken, he might actually just go kill himself. He yeah, might have those... Like, how many months did he spend in that laboratory just doing meth? Well, not actually that long. Uh, if you think about it... Because he was bearded for a while. Well, yeah, he was bearded. So I'm guessing Maybe, two to three months? Yeah, about two to three months. Enough to make mm -hmm. a... Do a cook. Yeah. Uh, quite a few cooks. Because so, they make a reference to him like when he looked back, he was having that dream where he was making that yeah. boat thing and he talked about well, the that box. in season four yeah. in the shop or was it season two? One of the seasons where he was in the group talking about him in the shop class and doing this shit. Yeah. Well, okay. So you done? Yeah. All right. My favorite part of season uh, of the last episode would have to be the, the chains. I, I mean... It was murder at its finest, and it was it wasn't even an revenge anymore. This was just Jesse, and that goes to your whole scene. This was just Jesse being free. You know, when he sees that Walt is that that Walt is just broken and done. That would probably be my favorite Jesse moment. My favorite Walt moment, the very end, when he just dies. It's not so much that he dies, but he dies. As, as Gilligan put it, with his precious. He dies with his, in that whole sense, it's just a beautiful, it's macabre, but it's very beautiful and sinister at the same time, that he just dies with his possessions. The thing that he really was his family. He wanted to make money for his family so he could save his family. Well, his family ended up being meth. Because he says that in the end of the, or the you know, middle of the episode, I did it for me. Walt, or Skyler has a side of relief. He always said it was for his family, but you know deep down it was just well, complete course. bullshit. No, of course. That you know was... complete down it was bullshit. He, it was just for him anyway. But again, he could have been... He was really living with Skyler all this time. Well, yeah, yeah. No, he he was definitely... Um, he was definitely broken, but he was also very free. And when, you know, and at the very, very end... So there were so many different... I was going through Reddit, and there's so many different... Uh, spoil, not spoilers, but, um, you know, uh, episode... Um, ideas that were being uh, lifted around and quite a few of these actually ended up in the episode so it was cool to see how people are on the same page for this 
So yeah, that that was. But how that finally ends, and how the beginning of the episode is basically it ends in a song. It ends in about the song about Felina and everything. And it's all just matches perfectly. It, maybe it was a cop out. Maybe it wasn't. It wasn't like um, Lost, where it was just made. What the fuck? But oh, speaking of Lost, was it Damon Lindelof who wrote this? I the episode? I don't know. I, I've don't been know. hearing shit about like the ending of Breaking Bad was an F U to Lost. And yeah, it might. It might have. Or the like, end, like Lost. Jack dies. Camera zooms out. You just ruined the, you just ruined the show for me, buddy. I haven't actually. You ever seen Lost? Lost? Fuck. Okay, whatever. I don't give a fuck. But you know they all. They all die. go to heaven. I know. It, or whatever. If you haven't seen Lost. I'm so surprised you haven't seen Lost. Well, anyway, I want it. That's Breaking not... Bad did the same shit in the end. Well, but that that's the other thing. They left it. They didn't leave it open. The only thing they left open is what happened to Skyler. What happens to freaking Ted? What happened? They really closed up Grey Matter. Wait, who's Ted again? Ted Beneke. I fucked Ted. That line. The oh boss. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I didn't fuck Ted. <laughs> oh, the boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so yeah. no, and, and the episode. Um, point is, point is that that was it. Was, it was very well done. I, we're gonna go off on a tangent here, probably. So, yeah, uh, I would definitely say that the episode it t did everything it needed to. But like I said, it left a few things up in the air. But you know, Ted's basically a vegetable, in a way. Uh, there was multiple. I was reading uh, how Gilligan had many ideas for the end, like what there was left unwritten. And he had, I was watching the Talking Bad, and he talked about how this one uh, scene he wanted to see. Um, you saw the kid, or whatever, with one of Je uh, Walter's former students, and there was a, it was an, a scene that was actually written, but it wasn't done because they didn't have time for it. And there's also the whole thing about the watch. People might have thought it was symbolics. Actually, no. Uh, you should really watch Talking Bad, but um, I have no idea what you're talking about, dude. Talking Bad. Okay, okay. You know how in the uh, you know how in the, when he goes to the phone and everything, and he's talking, he gets the number for Grey Matter or where they're living. Yeah. Where Eddie and uh, I forgot her name now. Here's a question for you. Where where do you think is the exact moment where Walter White is no longer Walter White and he turns into Heisenberg? Truth be told, Heisenberg dies. And personally, how I see it is Heisenberg dies. When he is the actually, someone had this theory. The Heisenberg dies when there's two gun, there's two bullets, and only one goes through the thing or whatever. I believe that Heisenberg died when. No, when did Heisenberg? No, let me finish. Yeah, I think Heisenberg personally dies, and this is just Walt wanting revenge or and wanting to make things right or whatever. Um, I think that Heisenberg dies in the when basically at when his when Hank dies. I think that's when Heisenberg really, because that whole thing, he's lost all his money, he's lost everything. Yes, he, well no, he hasn't lost all his money, but he loses pretty much all his money. He goes into hiding, that's Walter White doing what Walter White needs to do. Right. He's basically surviving. That's that's just his survival of the fittest, uh, you know, flight or flight, fight or flight um, mechanics. When he comes back with the, the right sin and all that crap, that's just him being Walter White. That's him at the point. And actually, there was one thing I was watching on uh, What the Flick, and they're talking about how, which is on YouTube, they're talking about how, what if Walter dies while doing his meth? Like, he finally, like, oh my god, like, he smoked, he smoked weed, he drank, obviously, but he, he finally, he had a cigarette and everything, which, whatever. But people actually wanted to see him try meth. And I'm glad they didn't do that. I don't I'm, think Walter White would ever try meth. No, no, I'm glad he didn't, but I'm just saying it would be, I honestly, how I thought it is that he would keep his heart pumping the whole time. Yeah. He'd be wide awake, he would be able to survive, and he would die in jail. Not bad. Yeah, so we're going, so yeah, to basically sum it up, um, what, did, what did you honestly think of it, though? It was the most intense TV show out there to date. I love how, like, Walt Jr., the cerebral palsy that he has on the show, yeah, the actor R.J. Mighty actually has cerebral palsy, but not to that extreme. Yeah. He's an amazing actor because, like, he has a little bit of part cerebral palsy, and he, like, was amazing in that role. Except he ate a lot of breakfast, and he was useless. <laughs> Terrible getting his bacon and eggs. Oh, my God. That's all he was during the show, just ate bacon and eggs. Hey, bacon and eggs are good. And then finally we get him, he did finally did something when he told his dad to fuck Here's off. Here's something I've actually been thinking about. Was Flynn gay? Who the fuck is Flynn again? That's Walter White, Walter Jr. He spends all his time with Lewis. You never see him go talk to any girls. Not to be a dick, but Walt Jr. Look at him. You think he? Yeah, I, I know, but I'm, I'm saying not to be a dick. I'm not being a dick. But think about it. 
You th honestly think Walter Jr. could actually talk to a girl? Well, no. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, he always got... I'm just trying to say, he always got compliments from his family and from a few other people about how handsome or attractive he well, was. Well, it was like the first season when he's trying on pants and those yeah. pants in the corner were like making fun of him. Yeah. You think he can honestly be... No, I don't. That he can't actually talk to a girl without getting... Really I, I, I'm just saying that it was, it was just it's something that crossed my mind because it's like... And that's the other thing. Someone thought that Gus Fring was gay. How do you think... Gus Fring because gay. he has no remorse for anybody so that else. That makes him gay. <laughs> no, a gay no. guy shows no remorse. Kill him now. Oh, no, I don't because he's gay. Like, no, I'm just saying. Again, he doesn't. I mean, this is it's just size stuff. But he talks about how he has a daughter. So maybe I'm just saying maybe it was a goddaughter because you never see this daughter because you know he's from Chile. All I'm trying to say is you're saying Chileans are gay. <laughs> You're saying my people are gay. You're saying you're gay. <laughs> no, what I what I'm saying is that that Gus has no again, he doesn't he's he's a very personal person, but I'm saying the only time he ever shows any liking is towards Jesse, towards Gail, and towards Max, his business partner, uh, in that one episode where he died where where Max dies. Wasn't Max his brother? No, Max was a student of his. Or not a student, but it was his partner. I seriously thought it was his brother there. No, it wasn't, it wasn't his brother. Oh, okay. Which you could understand why. But no, I'm just serious. It, it's just, it's just but weird. But Gus is an awesome... Oh yeah, it's not, that's what made him so How he went though. out like a boss with half his face looking like Two-Face. Well, yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, and it, it was just... Yeah, I, so... I, I, we're, I guess I'm really getting sidetracked here. So, point is, Breaking Bad didn't do a Sopranos. And I'm glad it didn't do that. You've right. obviously never seen Sopranos, have you? Well, they spoiled it for me, so I know James Gallofini's character died in the last... Well, so yes and no. He gets blown up in a car? No. Or something like that? No. It fades to black. When Don't Stop Believing is playing. And the reason why everyone was all up in arms about it is because this was a time when TVs were known to go out. You know, when... Um, yeah, when, when your TV was... Your cable could go out. And this oh, happened, that. so everyone was like, "Oh my God, is is, is the TV broken or something?" Like, so they thought that their their cable was off or something. So they thought they missed the ending. So that's a pretty dickish move to do. Well, it was a dickish move. It was very good on uh, on Chase's on you know on his his um, from his perspective. But the truth is, it's entire all the all the characters are there, just like Breaking Bad. All the characters are there from past episodes. It was like the ultimate fan ending. That's how Breaking Bad was in a way. It was the ultimate yeah. fan ending. And Skinny Pete and Badger, they kind of wasted them for a bit. They didn't waste them. Well, they, they didn't waste them. I'm wondering, like, how the fuck did Walter White find them? Did he Facebook them? <laughs> did he text them saying, like, yo, I need you here? And then they have, like... Uh, did, 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 you know what? That's not the point. The point is... It'd be funny. It's like Walter White trying to text someone, like, yo, Skinny Pete. How does... What's Skinny Pete's real name? Find him on Facebook. God damn it! <laughs> oh, it's Badger! How the fuck do you find these people? <laughs> okay, okay, think about it this way. The show came out in 2008. Well, that's about fair. Yeah. But you're thinking it's supposed to be taking place, because those cell phones and such, it's supposed to be taking place, I'm guessing, 2006. Yeah. You know, and everything. I like how they have the con continuity to it with the cell phones. I'm always like, I'm kind of pissed off that they didn't, but at the same time, I'm, I'm glad that they didn't go to modern phones. Because it would just be like, what the fuck? Like, they could have easily done it and said, oh, it's just... phones? Well, no, they, they go to flip phones. Oh, The that. entire show, it's just flip phones. It's like, and this all takes place in about two years. That's what the real beauty of it is. It all... This show took all place in two years? Two to three years, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. That's how long the whole entire timeline is. About three years, yeah. Damn, I did not know that. Another, ep another thing that I didn't take advantage of was Jesse and Walt. In as a student, as a teacher and student. I mean, they kind of showed it throughout the series, but they never really showed. The only flashback they have of Jesse as a student with, is with the box. They don't actually show him and Walt. Like, I, I guess you could kind of have an idea. So, anyways, back to that scene. So it was basically they're in a gas station, right? Walt is on the phone. He puts the phone down. He's, you know, he's Heisenberg's already been let out of the bag. He puts the watch on it, and the reason for the watch is because when they shot so that the scene, scene where he's like leaves his baby at the fire station. No, different scene. It was the last episode, and they, the thing is, they shot, uh, what, they shot the last episode, I believe, first. Or no, no, they shot the the flashback episodes first, and then, anyways, Walt didn't have a watch on in the in the you know first episodes of season five, 
right? You know, right. you know what it's like. And then season, f and then and, uh, so basically they were saying, oh, he's giving up his ties to Jesse or whatever. But that, the truth was, it was just a, a fluke, basically. But what they said in that scene though is, he goes to a gas station, is about to pay for his gas. Some kid notices him, notices he's Heisenberg, or whatever, and says, he, and he notices that he was one of his students, and he says to him. What did you think of my teaching? And the guy says, oh, you're a good teacher or something like that. And that was about it. That was the scene. But, you know, Gillian, Vince didn't have really any time to write it. So, or didn't have any time to finish it because, you know, whatever. That would have been a good scene. And another thing to note, season one, Jesse was supposed to die. He was? Yep, by Tuco. I, I could see it. But yeah, because Jesse Pinkman is such an awesome. Well, that's the thing, because Aaron, Paul, that. because Aaron Paul and Brian Cranston had such a fantastic good relationship. Chemistry. Yeah. And they were fantastic co-workers co -star, co and everything, and actors. That's why it, it was able to go. I mean, if you've seen the bloopers, they're just having a riot. In that. I've never seen Breaking Bad bloopers. Oh, it's, it's on out. YouTube. It's on YouTube. So, yeah. That, that's, so what would you honestly give the show at a scale of 1 to 10? 1 being uh, Brian's death bad. Fuck Brian's death. I'll say it right now. One being Fuck Brian's death. 1 being Justin Bieber. And ten being perfection. What would you honestly get? Now I know without bias, but what would you give it based on a critical analysis, as 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 a perfect piece of TV drama? I would give it basically a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Me. It would say why nine out of ten? If you take Skylar out of it, it would have been perfect. That's the thing about Skylar, though. Too. She was useless in about the first. Two seasons. She was always useless, even when like no, 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 she no, no, knew no. about the meth. She didn't. She was so fucking naive, like stuff. Someone actually decided to take symbols or some symbol, symbolism from it and say that when she went into the water, which rep was blue, she represented that the meth was controlling her, taking away her happiness and everything else. She was basically she was drowning herself in the lies, and was going basically it took control of her, which is why she was no longer thinking properly. Yeah. Another thought someone also had is why wasn't she skimming money off the top? I mean, Walt is the type of person to calculate things, but she could have easily done it. She's an auditor. She knows what she's, or she's, you know, a bookkeeper. She could have easily put it somewhere else or whatever. I'm just saying, or it got lost. Or, I'm just saying, there's something else to think about that she never really, why is Batman Arkham City in us? Um, yeah, so that, that, so how, do you want to know my thoughts on it? Or my review? Sure. Walter White. You is, sure get distracted easily now. I, I do. Walter White is the perfect anti-hero. He starts as a great protagonist and becomes the perfect antagonist. But, yeah, I... But with Skylar, yeah, she was wasted at first, and then she became a, a little better. She's all right. As a, She's also kind of attractive, but they could have... What's her sister's name again? Marie. Marie. God damn it, who's dead, Marie. She's I would bang her, though. I would bang her. I, yeah, I would put a bang over. I would bang her, but well, she's I would put so duct tape over her mouth and just fuck her. It's like, what do you think when she took the baby in from Skyler's house? Yeah, that was... And like, we're like, what the fuck, woman? You just can't take someone's And they baby. never really went over the shoplifting stuff. They just dropped out of his hat. They just dropped that. They put it they? in. Oh, because yeah. they could have gone along with that. You know, I guess what they're trying to show is no one in this lifestyle is, is innocent. No one. Yeah, but they made such a big deal about it. It's like, oh my God, you shoplifted, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, never heard from again. My favorite ending someone had, though, that they predicted, was that Walter White and Walt Jr. would basically, that he would escape the cops, fast forward a couple years, Walt becomes, he's like old, an old man now, remembers everything, his son becomes a chemistry teacher, and goes to university, becomes a chemistry teacher, and then they come in, and it was the worst thing ever, and it's like, the, and Walter Jr. goes into the RV, and he's like, D -d -d Dad, l -l 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 let's let's do this. And then it's called B -b -b Breaking B -b Bad. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, what a what a douchey thing. It reminds me of that one cerebral palsy episode of uh, Extras. Anyways, so my 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 review, I, I give it I give it a nine point eight. So where do you think Saul went off to? Oh, oh, and Saul, we actually should discuss that a while. Yeah, I'm well. saying, what do you think? First of all, where do you think Saul went off to? Because he's no longer a lawyer. After he left, he went to do something else because he couldn't. Everyone to part two. So yeah, that was our thoughts on Breaking Bad. Check out part two on Saul Goodman and all that shit. Because why not?